from Daily Forex, this is Chris Lewis taking a look at the Euro. The Euro has gone back and forth during the trading session on Thursday as we just sit around and wait for some type of reason to move. The PPI numbers could make a bit of a difference during the session, but really at this point we are very much stuck in the same pattern that we have been in where we are just banging around between the 1.10 level on the top and the 1.07 level on the bottom. In the short term, it's actually trading between the 1.09 level and the 1.10 level. With that being said, I think you've got a situation where you were just basically taking a look at this through the prism of a market that doesn't have anywhere to be. Because of this, I'm more or less apt to look at this as a tertiary indicator to trade other pairs. In other words, I'm using this as an idea as to what the US dollar may do uh, in other markets. If we do break above the 1.10 level, it opens up a move to the 1.1150 level. If we break down from here, then you have the 50-day EMA offering support right along with the 200-day EMA. Either way, I expect noisy and choppy short-term trading. I'm more or less neutral in this pair, but I know short-term scalpers will love this market as it could give them an opportunity to pick up a few pips here and there. I wouldn't get overly excited, though. I don't expect this pair to be a big mover this year, as both the European Central Bank and the Federal Reserve are likely to cut rates, and therefore, I don't think we have anywhere to be for a big move. Things, of course, can change based on geopolitics, global economic growth, etc., etc., but right now, there's just no momentum.